Welcome back to Tracking That, a channel where we try to track what liberals are saying but end up not being able to as usual. So almost every year, more and more people get a bachelor degree, which also makes more people find out more and more how useless a bachelor degree is. Supply is now outstripping the demand. Unless it's a more specialized degree, like nursing or engineering, or moving on to further education like med school or law school. But good luck getting a good paying job with just a four-year biology or psychology degree. Yet we now produce the most stupid emotional kids. 54% of adults have a literacy below a sixth grade level. What's contributing to the overall problem is a swath of things probably could go into a rabbit hole all over the place. ACT, SAT scores have been declined. 40% of fourth graders can't read at a basic level. And this is just something interesting I was reading about. You can do your own research. I don't want to guide you in the wrong direction, but there has been some basis here. Phthalate exposure has resulted in a cognitive decline. This is a chemical found in plastics, skincare, foods that are more on the line of fast foods, but you know, processed foods. A study found the potential developmental neurotoxicity of prenatal phthalate exposure in preschoolers impaired cognitive development. But this is something we probably ingest every day, so it's probably not getting any better. Phthalates have been linked to low birth weight and premature birth, as well as conditions like autism and ADHD. Hmm, I wonder why all those are on the rise. Thanks, McDonald's. And now we've turned towards a more emotionally caving in society, like affirmative action. This took minorities with lower test scores and basically made it equivalent to Asian and white students who had higher test scores because they scored higher points on having a different skin tint color. There's so many factors that lead to our dumbing of our generation, and you wonder why socialism is being pushed more than ever. And college is more expensive than ever, and we can thank financial aid or FAFSA for it because the generous loan organizations allow more access to money to pay for college. Therefore, more people being able to go to college, so once FAFSA provides more money, colleges can increase the amount of tuition required. Biggest scam ever. But anyways, let's take a listen to what Candace Owens has to say about the dumbing of our generation. And then you have them constantly working on our children in the classrooms. And this, this really is a thing that women have got to understand, the big mistake of letting the state step into our households and decide that they're going to raise our children. Free school, they said. Education, everybody deserves an education. That was the pitch. The fact of the matter is we've never handed out more degrees in our society. We've never produced dumber kids. I'm talking about actually factually dumber kids, mathematically speaking, in terms of their English writing. These are, the, these are the dumbest kids that we've ever produced. That's a fact. I was saying earlier to a group of kids, go back, do yourself a favor, just Google it. Go read one of the letters that like a, an 18-year-old soldier wrote during the Civil War when he was just writing to his mom back at home. It sounded like poetry. These kids today can't even write sentences. Right? They can't even write sentences. And you have the majority of kids right now, I think it's 40% actually, not the majority, 40% of kids in America cannot pass a basic literacy exam. And yet we're handing out tons of degrees. We're actually lowering the, we're saying, okay, well, now if they get a 70%, let's just call that a B. They're getting rid of AP classes and honors courses, right? They want everybody to feel good, even though they don't know anything. You need to understand this because that, that is the beginning of everything. What they're actually doing, and pay attention really close, is they're recreating slavery. They're recreating slavery. There is a reason, there is a reason that the slave codes, inherent in the slave codes, was the inability. You were not allowed to teach a slave how to learn to read. Why? Think about that. Why? Why was that such an important slave code that even if you were a slave owner and you were caught teaching a slave how to read, you were punished? What was the reason? Because an educated mind cannot be enslaved. The state knows that. So their initiative is how do I make you think, this is what the state is doing, how do I make you think you're the most educated person in the world when in fact you know nothing you don't know how to take care of yourself. You don't even know you don't even know what gender you An educated mind cannot be enslaved. This is exactly why we are seeing these people think they are born in the wrong body and we get information on all these topics suppressed by YouTube or people getting their social media sites shut down for saying particular verbiage. I refer to the Rainbow Mafia as the ABCD community now because YouTube can detect my speech and either remove it or make it not monetizable. It really is crazy how controlling things have been in this country. Why else do you think the liberal media kept saying Trump had blood on 
their hands during COVID-19 and remove posts about anti-jabbers. Suppress the Hunter Biden laptop story. Suppress January 6th footage. The government has taken over the education system and it's time to defund them entirely. But anyways, the Trump v. Biden debate is starting to heat up and the liberals are getting incredibly nervous, probably trying to figure out how they're going to get Biden to say full-on sentences and not poop or fall asleep. Here, a reporter went off script, I'm guessing, and asked Biden a question he wasn't prepared for. This is a big crime that he committed. Uh, American reporter, Josh Weingrove Bloomberg. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I have a question for Mr. Uh, President Zelensky shortly on the announcements, but uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you about your discussions on the situation in Gaza here at the summit. You were asked just a short time ago about it after the uh, skydiving demonstration. Can you give us your assessment of Hamas's response? And do you believe that they are trying to work towards a deal, or is this response working against a deal? And what is your message to allies, including those here at the G7, about what more, if anything, the U.S. can do to drive towards uh, a peace agreement? Thank you. I wish you guys would a little play by the, by the rules a little bit. I'm here to talk about a critical situation in Ukraine. You ask me another subject. I'll be happy to answer it in detail later. I wish you guys would play by the rules. A clear and obvious exposure that the reporters are hand-fed questions and can only stick to the script. Anyways, guys, what's your analysis on the dumbing of our generation? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and you have a good day.